Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another just wonderful discussion today. My name is Kimberly Quinn, and that's little G. Giovanni, where are you? There you are. Say hi. Uh, and we are out today in the deep woods, and it's like really chilly, but we're loving it. Like when we snowshoe, we just get hot and everything. Um, yeah. We're sizzling, right, G? Totally. So you can see behind me, it's absolute heaven. Uh, remind, again, it reminds me of the Field of Dreams movie when they say he shows up there and he's like, is this heaven? When they come out of the corn there, the baseball guys, and he says, no, it's Iowa. I feel like that only, no, it's northern Vermont. And it's actually ab absolutely intoxicating, which is the word, which is the word I use mostly when I'm talking about winter in the winter wonderland. So anyway, today what I want to do, actually it's February 5th, which is one of my baby's birthdays. So happy birthday, Shani. And, um... I'll probably also know she's watching the video because she'll know that I set her name on, you know, the video. So anyway, uh, what I want to talk about today is practicing who you want to be. You might be like, what's that about? Well, here's what it's about. Whatever we practice, we inevitably get better at. That's just how it works, no matter what it is. It can be, I say this to my Minecrafters. It can be, you know, skiing, cooking, robbing banks, you know, whatever. Criminals get good too, right? Get doing what they're doing and stuff and... It, because the brain loves patterns, it loves repetition. And so we can really get better at anything, which includes becoming more positive, becoming more, you know, becoming kinder, becoming more resilient. All this stuff can be taught, all of it can be learned. And I, some of you have heard me talk about um, skills versus talents. Now, talents are great. You know, the Mozarts and the Nadia Comaneci's and the, you know, all the athletes and the musicians and the artists and the, you know, actors and all that. Um, and also the regular. The regulars, like us, that also have talents. And it and, and doesn't mean that the talented folks don't use skills, because of course they do. But what I really like about skills is that they can be learned. You know, you can, versus you can't just decide to be Mozart, really, right? And so I really like that, um, that we can, you know, sort of decide. I want to be more, I want to be kinder. I want to be nicer. I want to be more laid back. I want to be more motivated. I want to be... You know, I want to read more, become more knowledgeable, be, whatever. We can just do it. And so what I mean by practicing who you want to, practicing who you want to be, and certainly it's okay and, and, and good to emulate other people. It doesn't mean you want to be them because that's not healthy. You want to be your best you. It's just that maybe somebody in your life is crushing it with the fitness regime or they're just more positive and things just they let things bounce off of them more easily. And it's very good to get the visual for that person and kind of, Maybe even talk to them and see what see what they're doing. Um, but also just in, in the other things, in the positive areas, but also whenever you've got a little discrepancy going on, you got a little you have a little argument going with your partner or friend or something like that. And and regardless of who's right or wrong or whatever, or you're both wrong, you're both right, or however that plays out, to to really sit for a second. Or don't sit, walk around. I miss, I definitely think better when I'm moving. And just like, did I come out of that where however it landed? Not about the right or wrong thing. Even if you were totally wrong and you realized it, did, did you kind of lose gracefully? Kind of like you teach kids when they play Monopoly or, or, or they play some other game. You know, it's, it's important to, you know, when you're shaking hands in T-ball. Maybe you did the best you could, but somebody was better. Okay. So just say that. You know, you, you played a heck of a game. Maybe you're usually better, but you were off. Okay. All right. So I learned how to lose gracefully. I, lo I, I learned how to come out of a, an argument or conversation and, and also to win gracefully. Maybe somebody else who really, you know, thought they were right and, and you kind of sat back a little bit and let them come to it on their own that really the recent article you read or whatever was really correct. And you're just like, oh, you know, yeah, I just picked it up yesterday. You know, whatever, just, you know, to be graceful with it and to really um, realize all these, because the thing is, and I think, you know, I'm all about in, attention and intention, right? Because what we pay attention to what, what we attenuate to is also the only only experiences, thoughts, all of it. Experiences that make it to long-term memory. All oh, the snow is starting to fall off the trees. It's so gorgeous. There you speaking of attention. I'm going to like have a freeze frame of that beautiful tree right here. I'll show you. Right behind me. Oh, my God. I love trees. They're so protective and beautiful. And so, okay, back on the train. And so, lost my train. So, anyway, okay, what we, what we pay attention to. There we go. Attention and intention. So, the other thing was, okay, so what we attenuate to make the to, to long-term memory, all we've got is the now, this is life right here with Giovanni in the woods, and also intention. So as you know, when I set an intention each day, 
they're all different, but although, and one of my favorite ones is I'll bring success to everything I do with emphasis on the, to the best of my ability, right? We don't want to say the P word, that perfection word is just bad and unhealthy and not good. So to the best, so that means every little thing. It means doing the dishes successfully. It means the conversation successfully, you know, making good lunch choices successfully. And that might mean the person the, the place where we're going, the atmosphere, all three put together. Maybe I picked the last two times and now it's their turn. Whatever it means to be successful, to have a great conversation, to be feeling good after the lunch because you gave yourself a break. And it's just, it's so important, um, attention and intention to practice all of this stuff. And I know for myself, imperfections included, that I am absolutely becoming the person I want to be. Like, I, I'm just saying 100% with imperfections included, you know, just being aware and making, you know, changes and embracing my life minutes and spending them as if they were cash. I'm becoming the person I want to be full throttle. And it's just so important to realize that it doesn't just feel like the clouds part and then we kind of arrive at, you know, living our best life. It takes lots of work. Happiness is a choice. Um, to some degree, empathy and also, you know, we, we can learn it and make better choices about being empathetic. And obviously genetics are involved with all of us as human people and, and non-human people. G Giovanni's like, well, I'm a people. What are you talking about? So, so, so yes. So becoming who we want to be has to do with all these little micro choices that we, that we make all day. And then also the macro choices, you know, so it's just good to like throughout the day, do little check-ins with yourself. Did I come out of that the best possible? Was I as kind as possible, as thoughtful as possible? You know, was I as smart as possible in that particular situation with problem solving or whatever like that? And and that's it. So, um, yeah, this is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful northern Vermont with little Giovanni. Have a mindful day.